Hello, this is Stephen March from FBH International with an update on what has been happening with our ministry partners in Ukraine. Alex and Nadia Pastashak produced the FBH program for us in Ukraine. They broadcast from the city of Chernivtsi in the southwest region of the country. Though Alex and Nadia do hear the sirens and some of the other sounds of war, there has been little fighting in their region and their city is currently among the safest in the country. Many humanitarian organizations are even setting up their aid centers in Chernivtsi, and at least one country has moved their embassy there. The relative safety of the city has allowed Alex and Nadia to continue preaching the gospel through their FBH programs. In fact, since the invasion started, they have increased the number of times they go live each week. They also remain active online long into the night, making sure they are available to comfort and counsel anyone who reaches out to them wanting to know more about God, Jesus, and salvation, as well as those who are struggling with their faith. Viktor Aktirov, our contact for the Ukrainian and Russian ministry, informs us that they have seen more people come to Christ in the last five days than in the previous five months. And the calls, texts, and emails keep coming in. Please keep praying for Alex and Nadia and the Family Bible Hour program in Ukraine. Pray also for their ministry colleagues in the country. There are 35 broadcasters and counselors on their team who are currently scattered across Ukraine. Some have gone to Chernivtsi and others have made the decision to stay where they are, even if it means being where the fighting is. They are frightened, but push through the fear to remain faithful to the work of spreading the good news of Jesus. The following video gives a picture of the physical and emotional impact that the current situation is having on the people of Ukraine, including the radio workers. Здравствуйте всем. Hi everyone. Меня зовут Игорь. My name is Игорь. Это моя супруга Эмма. And this is my wife Emma. И я часть команды FBC Украина. And I am a part of FBC Ukraine team. Как вы знаете, сегодня российская армия напала на Украину. As you know, Russian army invaded Ukraine today. И сейчас я записываю это видео у себя дома. And right now I'm recording this video at my home. И это опасное время. And it is very dangerous time. Потому что мы слышим звук сирен. Because we hear the sound of sirens. И я хочу попросить каждого из вас. And I want to ask every one of you. Пожалуйста, молитесь за нас. Please pray for us. Это действительно страшно. It's really scary. Мы хотим, чтобы в нашей стране был мир. We want to have peace in our country. Я не хочу прятаться в бомбоубежищах. I don't want to hide in bomb shelters. И... Sorry, I can't. И это очень серьезно. And it's very serious. Большое вам спасибо. A few days after this was recorded, Victor received a message from Igor that said, the initial shock has worn off, and we realize that we could die at any time now. If that is God's will for me, I can think of no better way to spend my final days than by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ with others who may also go into eternity soon. This is the example of faith we are seeing from all the workers connected to our partners in Ukraine. We praise God that the response to the message of the gospel has been overwhelming, with many, many people being saved. Please continue to pray for the country of Ukraine and the radio work taking place there.